Hi Sagittarius, E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you about the upcoming month that will help you overcome the obstacles you may be facing. Now, if you'd like to learn more about E. Ray Taronic, the author, you can hit the down bar. All of my links are there, as well as the links for the healing chakra beads and the sun catchers. Don't hesitate to like the channel and or like the video and subscribe to the channel as it does help me grow. Now, let us get into what we are here to do, which is uh, to help you grow. Um, Gemini season. Gemini season, we'll be going over Gemini season in June, actually in its entirety. So that includes some of uh, cancer season. Gemini season though was here from May 21st through June 20th. The mutable air sign of Gemini is ruled by Mercury, making Gemini all about networking and communication. This fun, curious sign loves to mingle and with Mercury at its helm, they're naturals when it comes to learning new skills and or connecting with those that can assist them in opening these channels. Now, this month, you're prompted to take a page out of the book of Gemini. Listen, learn, explore, network. In order to expand your business this month, you're required to poke your head out of your shell, even if you remain in quarantine somewhat. Now, using the World Wide Web is going to be your best bet to allowing you uh, to reach far and wide, right from the comfort of your own home, actually. So it's time to find the connect. Catch my drift? Let's get into the major transits and see where our planets will be. Now, Uranus, as we know, is in Taurus. Taurus reigns over our money, our values, our resources. And Uranus is the planet of shock, surprises, revolution. It's semi-sextile Chiron at nine degrees, Taurus on June 10th. This could bring a sudden or unexpected opportunity to recover from a financial loss. Maybe a chance to heal a broken relationship with a family member or a significant other. Some, though, could find themselves the receiver of an enticing proposition that you know could ruin a relationship with a spouse, lover, or relative. So please be mindful of your dealings, okay? This is around June 10th. Now, the sun is in Gemini at the start of June, keeping your focus on learning new avenues of creating success. Gemini is prompting you to be fun and sharp-witted with your business endeavors. Then it's gonna enter Cancer at zero degrees on June 20th. This is a time where you may prefer to stay at home, you know, nurturing those around you. You could slack off a bit as to your professional goals, preferring to nurture or, or preferring to uh, enjoy the things that bring you contentment around your abode. Definitely when you're dealing with cancer, the home is going to be a focus. Mercury, the planet of skills and communication, uh, sales and even intellect, goes retrograde on June 18th in the sign of cancer at 14 degrees. Be discerning as to whom you spark dealings with, business or otherwise. You may find yourself in the midst of underhanded, lazy characters who mean to misuse your talents people who make it to high places uh, through little efforts of their own. In other words, watch out for the charlatan, okay? Now, I uh, also uh, have to say that Mercury being retrograde deals with people from the past as well. So you'll be dealing with people from the past as well, going over things, reviewing, rehashing, reevaluating uh, projects you may have with them or um, aspects of re relationships that you have with them, okay? Now, Venus, the planet of romance, finance, abundance, pleasure, it remains retrograde in Gemini right now. Um, the way you go about putting these things into question is, uh, the way you go about putting these things into action is in question. Some will get a second chance to deal with the same issues. Will you handle them as you did in the past? If so, did you even receive your desired result? If not, this is a chance to shift the outcome. OK, talks about finances will be a big focus during this time as well. So, of course, I don't recommend you making any big changes in your finances unless it's scaling back, of course. I also warn against making any drastic changes to your appearance because with Venus retrograde, you might not like it once the planet goes direct. Venus, the planet of finances, abundance and pleasure goes direct in Gemini on June 25th. <clears throat> 
Now on the newsletter, I think I made a mistake and put until June 25th, but Gemini goes direct on June 25th. So please forgive me that faux pas if you uh, get my monthly newsletter. This is a position of wealth, success, fame, intelligence. All areas are free to, free to progress uh, to, toward a steadfast abundance. So that's a good thing. Now, Neptune, the planet of fantasy, inspiration, dreams, illusions, goes retrograde on June 23rd. This transit will affect uh, Pisces the most, of course, because that's their ruler, Neptune. Um, but it could put you in a lazy mood, uh, even bossy or sharp-tongued, because Mars is there as well in that area. Um, this will incite more, uh, no, try not to hold yourself back by being sharp-tongued, okay? I'll say that. Now, Mars, the planet of challenges and energy, enters Aries where it is exalted at zero degree on June 27th. This is wonderful, especially for Aries and Scorpio who are ruled by Mars. Even as a collective, our, competi our competition is that our competitive drive is returned, okay? Our ability to overcome hardships is heightened. Uh, now this will incite more protests as people will have the courage to fight for their rights. Um, your libido might be in overdrive. So don't allow yourself to be seduced by a snake in the grass. You really can stand to lose everything at this time, okay? And I want you guys to be mindful of that communication, um, that sharp tongueness, or even being on the internet and typing things and writing things. People are losing their jobs left and right. Watch your mouth. Now, um, Jupiter uh, quintiles Charon at eight degrees Aries on June the 1st, the first day of June. This could bring success in a health ailment. A chronic ailment that normally bothers you could subside during this transit. Um, by the way, a quintile is when two planets are 72 degrees apart, forming a harmonious aspect. Jupiter, the planet of luck and uh, expansion, is conjunct Pluto at 24 degrees of Capricorn on both at 24 degrees on June 30th. This conjunction is favorable for making great strides in literature and education, okay? Capricorn is boss, he's forging forward. Pluto is about rebirths, okay? Jupiter expands everything it touches and it brings luck, okay? And it deals with travel, education, um, literature, okay? So kind of just to break that down a little bit. Um, but you must be willing to learn. That's what comes with it. You must be willing to study, try new things. A word of advice though, your wit is sharp. Just make sure your tongue doesn't match because Capricorns can be extremely direct and that's the energy we're gonna be under. Jupiter is actually retrograde in Capricorn until September the 23rd. Now, Saturn is retrograde in Aquarius until September 29th, as you know. As you know, Saturn is the planet of uh, restrictions, karma, responsibility, good or bad. Your actions help determine how your karma plays out. In this position, there's a danger of short-lived romances fouling up one's karma, okay? So you wanna watch those relationships that you get into. As I said, be discerning as to whom, whom you have dealings with. Success can be achieved, but one must abide by principles. Now, Pluto, the planet of rebirth, renal, resources, is retrograde until October 4th. This is a time of transformation for the collective. Be gentle with yourself. In the coming months, our face will be tested. Don't allow yourself to be bound by fear mentally. Don't be easily deceived. Do your homework before believing media or social propaganda, as it will be uh, pushed into our faces from all directions. We as a collective are at a vulnerable point in our lives and we as individuals must do our part by keeping our hopes up, maintaining our mental health, as well as doing what we can to be a part of the solution as opposed to perpetuating the problem. Now the silver lining is that Pluto being conjunct Jupiter does help us to keep our eyes on the prize while facing the coming shifts in our personal and business lives. I implore you, keep a kind heart. The world needs compassion, as does our entire human race. Now, the full moon on June the 5th is in the mutable fire sign of Sagittarius at 15 degrees. This will be a partial lunar eclipse in the south node. 
The south node is your karma, your past life experiences. You've been there, you've done that. This is a time to learn more and move on from there, okay? This is where we're in a reevaluation of beliefs right now. You know, the full moon brings things to a culmination. The moon is squaring uh, Mars and Neptune over here in Pisces, okay? So um, I'm gonna talk about how it affects your sign in a second, uh, Sagittarius. Now the new moon on uh, June 21st is in the cardinal water sign of Cancer at zero degree. This is a partial solar eclipse in the North Node. The North Node is where you're trying to go in life, you know, without being corrupted by the money and power attained as you get closer and closer to it. Now, the, the new moon brings new opportunities and fresh starts in that area. It's a solar eclipse. The moon is blocking the sun. Now, let's get into how this is going to affect you personally, uh, your, your sign directly, Sagittarius. Okay. So Sagittarius ranges from November the 22nd until December the 21st, okay? June 1st, Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, is quintile Charon in Aries, impacting your sector of creativity, romance, and children. Luck uh, with a creative endeavor is on the menu. Some could be uh, healing a relationship with a child. Um, this could even revive a romance. Being that it's an Aries, it makes a trine to your sign, bringing blessings in that area, okay? In romance, creativity, and children. The month begins with the sun and Mercury, um, the planet of communication, skills, and sales, and intellect, in Gemini. This puts a spotlight on your sector of relationships and partnerships. The full moon in Sagittarius on June the 5th is going to square Mars and Neptune over here in Pisces, okay? So um, this affects your area of home and family as well as your sector of relationships and partnerships due to uh, the moon opposing the sun. You could face challenges at home which could cause, um, which could pause a creative project. You could be dealing with illusions in a relationship at home, which could reach a boiling point around the full moon. So please try and keep a cool head. And as I said, be mindful of those things we discussed before in the uh, transits, okay? Now, once the sun uh, on June the 20th and Mercury on June the 18th move into Cancer, the focus is more on your shared finances, okay? The money you share with others is a topic. Communication as to new avenues, how to make money, um, will arrive, especially with the new moon in Cancer on the 21st. That's going to usher in newness as well. The moon is trying Pisces and Neptune, okay? So um, although it squares your sign, a trine lends positive energy, and an opportunity could come through long-held aspirations. Now... Neptune, the planet of dreams, inspiration, a fantasy, goes retrograde in Pisces on June 23rd, aspecting your sector of home and family. Issues on the home front could take precedence. You could be working from home or even uh, working on the home or working on a creative endeavor in the home, maybe even working towards renovations um, that you've always wanted. You'll face hurdles, but as I always say, challenges can be overcome. Uh, Venus, the planet of love, finances, romance, um, is going, and with that, let me say, those challenges that, that you will face in that area, remember, four days after, Aries is going to, um, Mars is going to move into Aries, so you'll have the gusto to, to overcome those challenges, okay? Now, um, Venus uh, go, is going direct on June 25th in your sector of relationships and partnerships. This is wonderful. It brings the harmony back to those areas and your finances, are, are they have the green light to move forward, okay? Um, we have Mars, as I said oh, before, it's moving back into Aries, which is your area of creativity, romance, and children um, on June the 27th. Uh, this is wonderful for you. Because not only do you get uh, the blast that you've been needing, Aries trying your sign, uh, bringing you blessings in the area of creativity, romance, and children. Now, um, last but not least, Jupiter 
or actually this wouldn't actually be last because we still have to go over this over Saturn. The Jupiter Pluto conjunction on June 20th on June 30th will be impacting your second house of finances. This is your personal finances. A rebirth in your personal finances is on the menu. Okay. Now Saturn remains in Aquarius. So this being sextile, your sign brings opportunity uh, to benefit from lessons that you've learned already previously in communication. Okay. So just make sure that uh, you're, you're passing these tests so that you can benefit from this sextile greatly in, in communication. Um, this could involve a sibling as well. Now, remember that Mercury is retrograde from June 18th until July 12th. This is a time to work on things, not to launch, okay? You want to be revising, restructuring, and reviewing uh, during that time, June 18th through uh, July 12th, okay? All right. So uh, be safe and have a great month of June. See you next month, Sagittarius.